Uh, secondary matter, life and death. We can keep helping Triss. That's a level 12. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's go help Triss. We might also be able to talk to her about that one quest. Two birds, one stone and all that. Where's the closest, uh, closest thing? But yeah, I really hope we have a good face-to-face uh, -face with Doodoo. -Doo. Have a big long chat with him. Shoot the shit with him. Yep. <laughs> I'm the most mature person in the world. Move it or lose it. So yeah, I'm guessing like something's gonna happen from wiping that guy's memory. Like it didn't take all the way. He'll remember something. But if we'd have killed him, then that would have hit her, her to, uh, alerted Radovid. Girl, you wanna pull your sword out? I don't get why he just does it sometimes. Fuck off. Fuck it. Fuck off, shit. Bag motherfucker. Thank you for dodging this time. Yeah, see, when Igni doesn't ignite them, it's just like, eh. Fuck off. See, he like fell down so quick, or he got back up so quick, didn't end up mattering. Yeah. Me too. Me too. But yeah, like, it would have tipped Radovid off that something's going on, that it made him, like, double down on the whole mage thing. Oh, for God's sake. You guys... There you go. How about a little stun, Scarecrow? You son of a fucking bitch. Like a split second for that shit. Oh, the fucking piece of shit. I'm not over you guys' shit, I'll tell you that right now. Good bitch. Fucking eating all this raw meat because of you. And no, you give me a ham sandwich in return isn't enough to make up for it. Alright, don't do Triss. Don't do Triss. Don't do Triss. Ah! That'll be easy. Dress. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh wait, no. Mind if I take a look around? See what you got? Add. <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, no, it's fine. Bring boys over and then let them take all of our stuff. It's totally cool. I'm totally fine with us. He seems like a good boy, other than, you know, taking all our shit. Oh god. Wolf's livers? Can I- can you not go with ham sandwiches instead? Did it have to be the wolf livers? Did you jump straight to that? Where's my damn ham sandwiches? Look at that ham. Look at that grilled chicken sandwich. Ah, I'd rather have the wolf liver. I know you're a manly man, but goddamn. Geralt, I got a problem. Can we talk? Uh, why do you think I came over here? Yes, Geralt? Ah, here we go. <laughs> You've been in Novigrad long, baby. It's like, oh god, he's got amnesia again. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. <laughs> I didn't need your help, Geralt. By the way, I need your help right now. See, you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. Feel all right? Hmm. 
so so. Why do you ask? You mean other than having a freak out session about torturing that dude? Been wondering, how's your hand? Your fingers? They'll heal. Listen, it was my Don't look like a sad I puppy. Exactly what I was getting into. Don't need to worry about me. The sad puppy look from Geralt. <sighs> Maybe we should talk. Gladly. I was a All right, let's go with the figurine thing first. Look what I picked up. <laughs> a glowing backpack. Impression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. Looks like a nobleman. Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here. Of course. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Place is pretty grim. True. It looks like a vampire's hideout. Which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here. Give me the figurine and stand back. Please would have been nice, but... Let's try it. Think it's a nobleman. Be on your guard. It could be something far more dangerous. Oh no. An angry nobleman. Look out! I don't know if I can handle it. He might use the fancy language spell on me. He's like wearing a book. I never looked at the less. You are my one and only. Oh, oh, you're not Carl. Some succubus. A uh, delusion. Where, where, where am I? So Coral enchanted him, just like her. If there's a more vindictive sorceress, I don't know her. Well, except maybe... Coral's not here? In that case, come to me, succubus. <laughs> what the hell? You got problems. What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad? Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... as... As youthful goats. Exactly. Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I've no notion what she did to me. But it seems you've delivered me from my misfortune. Here, take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. Huh. <laughs> what was that little hand gesture there, Grunt? He's not sure. I don't know. Found some stuff, though. That I'm gonna loot the hell out of. Almost leveled. So we ever, whatever we do to help Triss, probably level us up. I don't remember Coral. Ty just, just come on in now. It's fine. You've already stole all of our, all of our stuff. Might as well come in whenever you damn well please. But um, yeah, I don't remember Coral. Geralt, I got a problem. I know. Yes, Geralt. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. 
Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. <laughs> what are you afraid of exactly? Kind of a silly question, it's but a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other, nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. Don't like this at all. But you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagal Buds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic? He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm hmm Fine. Let's meet there. Okay. Matter of life and death. Well, this is apparently an incredibly important quest. One might even say it's a matter of importance. Alright, let's leave. Not too far away. We'll run all over. You can summon the horse, but there. Nah. Who needs a horse? Besides, we're, we're in the city. It is fun to ram, ram in the horse into people, but... Yeah, we're definitely going to need a lot more food, methinks. I'm also going to need to hit the armor smith up very soon. And sell stuff and get repairs again, because I have a feeling our silver weapon is probably pretty damaged after that whole... Uh... Lots of blue jerkins. Interesting. Hmm... But yeah, I have a feeling our silver weapons are uh, pretty strongly damaged after all those fights. I'm looking for the one with the uh, with the like keys on his belt. It's hard to tell. Again, this would be a really nice. There's pouches. I like looking at the guy's crotch. He's like, hey, you. Uh, Look in the buyer. Oh, hey, this guy's here. Come one, come all. Many thanks nope. No, oh, it's this one. I'm like, that's not the right. Need something sharp. God, the guy's so doofy looking. What do you have on? Let's repair real fast. See, it wasn't that bad. Damn. Well, that's right. When you find gear, it's often busted up, which, you know, makes sense. All right. Ooh. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. We got those boots, but they're heavy armor. But, meh. He doesn't have that much money. Anyway, I'll I'll sell to him once we're done here. So long. Which I have a feeling it's going to lead us away, but... Oh, he also said about asking for trout. So you would think he'd be close to this fish stall, but Let's check over here. We didn't check over here. Like I say, it's hard to see. A blue jerkin. He doesn't have keys. Racial hygiene's as poor as their personal hygiene. Damn it. Over here, then. Ah, uh, nope. Uh, a witcher. Oh, that's the life. Damn it. I don't see anybody with keys tied to their belt. Hey, Triss. I'm having. I'm struggling here. Thank you, pardon. <coughs> Greetings. Yes. It might be easier to do it that way. That way I can sort of get a glimpse. <laughs> I 
<laughs> he just coughs. That's definitely not a jerkin. Actually, you know what? It maybe doesn't make that much sense that he would be around fish, right? Because a lot of people are going to ask him for trout. Ah, oh, okay, there he is. on trout perhaps but it wasn't you I was to meet sir want to talk to the letters recipient I gotta be present caution would advise cautions advising you not to argue right now trust me it seems I've got no choice come with me yeah I knew he's gonna leave me away damn it you That's don't want me to sell for. bastard is Tris behind Thought she might follow. I imagine she'll just teleport over there. Hey, sup? <laughs> I'll sweat on me! My god! British people, learn to enunciate! Oh no! Bandits, isn't that a shame? Oh shit, that's Axie, fuck. Oh. Oh, so it wasn't an ambush. What well, it was an ambush, but. I'm no clue. First time I've laid eyes on him. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I it just weren't what I expected since Lady Vagel, bud. Vagel, but now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard, but since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the guardsmen, but since the hunters paid for every mage revealed to him. Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the hunters anyway. How did Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss, that Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's, um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbuds' balls is true. <laughs> the Vagelbuds' like balls. A hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but eighty-five desserts this time. Won't be no candy petals of blue roses from Nazaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire, knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. 
Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. <laughs> Gerald, please. How do we get to the Just a little smaller than my penis, am I right? God of the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. Something I need to do first. Fine. Buy our masks while you're at it. And you should change. Ball attire. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Ellie House shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Damn it. Take care of that, then come and see me. But mom, I don't want to get dressed up. I like the clothes that I'm wearing. <sighs> Alright, so I already bought the clothes. Let's go ahead and... This is mine, hey, shut up. Hey, you could have looted these guys who were over there talking. Not my fault. You're gonna jump up in the air. What's up? Now look what you <laughs> Did you turn into a chicken? Uh, where is that smith? I hate that it doesn't show... Oh, that's that one smith that always pisses me off. Because he's not actually there. Uh, I'm going to go sell, repair, all that good stuff, and then we'll, uh, hey, sup. Then we'll meet up at the little, uh, party. Alright, um, so I did all that, and I went ahead. Oh, cool, the sword, the sword actually has the hilt of the cat sign on it, too. Uh, but anyway, I went ahead and made the griffin sword, because it is better. Uh, plus 10 sign intensity versus 12 ard, which is very bleh. 20 bonus XP is the same. 5% uh, shells cause bleeding, we lose that, but we can mix, fix it with runes. Um, but, uh, yeah. So that's good. I need to rune these up. I'll do that next time I start recording. But let's go ahead and talk to Lyle. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Oh, he actually plays Gwent, too. Nice. Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. That might be a little weird. So we also need to buy... Doublets. Uh, this one looks... Kind of like the puffy shoulders on this one. The breeches, I think. Well, that's actually kind of expensive stuff here, isn't it? Just a bit. Oh, these are different prices too. I wonder if that matters. Elegant Nilfgaardian shoes. Don't buy the expensive shoes, why not? Why the hell not? Why didn't I sell this sword? Oh, because he didn't have enough money. He didn't have enough money, huh? I'll sell it to you, though. We're back up to, like, 8k now, so we're doing pretty good. So long. Alright, let's go ahead and put on our new fancy clothes. See, Geralt, it's not so bad. It kind of is. Yeah, we're wearing a Nilfgaardian top and, like whatever the other one's pants though so that feels a little weird right elegant courtier yeah it's Nilfgaard it's got that Nilfgaard symbol eh I don't think it'll matter hmm all right well I'm gonna actually play him and Gwent real quick and then I'll meet you guys once you get to Triss and I'll also ruin up my weapons <laughs> shut up all right, so I'm all dressed to get my uh, swords ruined out. In case you want to see the silver sword, I went with five percent chance to poison and five percent sign intensity, um, and three percent chance to poison, bleed, and freeze on the steel weapon. Dotting up humans is much more useful since they block a damn much. Uh, it's nice to go ahead and get them. 
poisoned. Damn it, run! Hello! Good god. I mean, yeah, you looked alright, Triss, I guess. Certainly took my request to heart. I mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Hmm. That's Everything's suspicious. Ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Uh, damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. <laughs> well then, shall we go? Don't tease me! Um... Let's put on the wolf mask. We played, we did the bird mask before. I wonder if we wouldn't have bought any of the masks. Because the quest didn't say, <laughs> experience points gained, one. Thanks, game! That's kind of insulting. I'd rather get zero. That's like leaving your waiter like a penny instead of nothing. Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate yard. <laughs> Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. I knew that was coming. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. Yeah, I kind of figured we weren't going to be able to take our weapons in. I haven't been outside the city in ages. Damn. Fucking giving the name to the White Wolf. Hell yeah. What the hell? After all, he's not the only man in the world. But he's a baronet. Where will I find another baronet? <laughs> Triss is freaking out. Don't sit on the ground. What the hell? hell it's just sitting on the ground. No use pretending you don't know me. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. Yeah, the hair is kind of a giveaway. Now, but before that, Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter you were a common enough the lady said she doesn't know you who's this the new one older than the last it seems a decrepit moss covered prick so the less they can the more they pay is that it you asked for it Oh no, I don't know how to defend myself. You son of a bitch. The fuck? Well, you fucking let me. No, stop dodging me, you prick. Alright, that's annoying. Gotta get him in the corner over here. Because it's easier to beat his ass. Fucking dodge this, bitch. What? Nothing happened. Mercy! I've had enough! Goddamn right you have. Well? Well, I didn't want to say, Triss, let's go, right? I didn't. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, there's a quest over here. What the hell is there a quest over here? I'm gonna do it, but I mean. Ah, oh, damn it. Spears in the walls. We've been had, Geralt. You won't let me eat my... Damn it! <laughs> you can't eat that grilled sandwich now. What are you thinking? You'll get crumbs all over your nice doublet. It's like I already got blood and stuff. Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? 
Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead. Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. <laughs> Everybody here's a prick. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. They may eat my sandwich. Let's look around. <laughs> They're playing the damn song. The same damn song is bullshit. 